Lads, I am appropriately dressed and ready to take on the United States. America is Mexico. So, historically speaking, Mexico didn't exactly keep hold of, uh, well, this land uh, for, for too much longer. And we actually started war with Texas. However, unlike real life, there's not really a system here uh, for guerrilla warfare. So, methinks that I should be able to take out the Texans pretty easy. Uh, and as you can see from the colonial map mode, we're sort of racing the US to get as much of this territory as possible. So my aim today is to be the dominant power in North America. Uh, what that'll look like, I don't know. I assume it'll involve uh, a lot of this land not being blue, but instead being green, or at the very least, our economy being better than the 22nd most in the world. Now, as Mexico, laws-wise, uh, we start out with the colonial institution, but nothing much else. We've got a republic, but... Not too much else. Uh, I'd love to go straight into per capita taxation because I'll give us way more revenue. Population wise, we're doing all right and we have somewhat of a manufacturing industry. Uh, but what I'm going to do before anything else is, as you can see up here, we make 4K from minting. Minting isn't affected by little things like supply and demand. So I'm going to go ahead and build a ton of gold mines. And by ton, I mean one. Okay, well, I think we start out with uh, a couple of decent furniture and textile mills. So maybe we just focus on that. Our market shows that we are lacking in grain. We're lacking in furniture. We're lacking in wood. We're lacking in fabric. We're just lacking. Do we have a surplus of anything? Dyes. Dyes and gold. Hi, <laughs> guys. I'm unlocking myself every goddamn video. <laughs> okay, let's build two construction centers. And let's build those first. All right, we've turned up. Let's see, we can start to push back the Texans in dominant fashion. And I think I've got to get rid of this wood shortage uh, before I do anything like industrialize. We need iron and we need tools. Okay, well, let's start going for iron mines first. Let's get five in Jalisco. Jalisco. I never took Spanish, uh, so I'll have no idea what's going on. And also ignore my old person mug. It was the only mug in the house when I moved in. Yeah, for those who don't know, I moved into a, a new house. Um, I'm now on my own. Right, but more importantly, we've, uh, we've got Texas back. We should be able to colonize a lot of these areas before the US gets them. You guys want closed borders. Why? Hello there. So why am I recording uh, just a face cam in an empty room other than some boxes because I still haven't finished moving in properly? Well, as I tell you, weirdly enough, that we've got a Minecraft server. It's been up and running for a little while. It has things like factions, nation claiming, like actual wars. We wrote a list of rules for wars like Casas Bay and stuff like that. We even created a custom map. Uh, we invested a lot of money into it and it's completely free. So why am I doing it? I don't know. <laughs> no, it's because it's a lot of fun. So if that's not your thing, fair enough. But if it sounds like it could be, then make sure to join the server with the IP in the description and also the pinned comment. I myself am completely talentless at building, but I'm good at tearing things down. So it appeals to both me and the people who, you know, want to build things. If you don't want your things torn down, then you can also declare yourself neutral and not get declared on by anyone. But if you're up for a scrap and specifically want to try and murder me, make sure to join the server. Uh, it'll be a lot of fun. Right, back to Victoria 3. Spoiler alert, it's a very good video. Uh, keep watching to the end because, you know, retention and stuff. For capita taxation, what's our politics looking like? I've never checked. Uh, armed forces and landowners. Although they're pretty split, to be fair. Still coming with two, and it starts with a lower literacy rate than this guy. Come on. It's 56,000, I'm sure, but they have a higher literacy than an actual state. All right, we've discovered the lathe, and we will now go to mechanical tools. In fact, I want to go to... We've already got romanticism. Uh, stock exchange. Minting could be better. Yeah, okay, we got a lot of money for minting. Let's just increase our minting. Makes sense. Come on, first try. Nope. Okay, back from Dean Expose. That doesn't sound good. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, we're just gonna go take the five percent hit on the chin. It's fine. I believe in us, so the five percent is fine. I, I really, I'm glad I don't gamble because if I, I feel like if I gambled, uh, I would be in a lot of debt. Okay, so furniture and clothes, tobacco and grain, grain and wood. Okay, so let's chuck in some decrees i want more wood don't i that's my entire thing so in jalisco i'm gonna get a decree for that so i forget the us is gonna come knocking at some point so i might want to start thinking about how to protect myself okay we're the enemy of the us pretty standard Ooh. minus three minimum standard of living <laughs> yeah all right i'm productive trade routes god i've got trade routes a lot of expensive goods. Oh, God. High tensions? Oh, between me and the colonials, that's fine. Paper, fabric, wood, iron, and tools. All the basics for a uh, modern economy are all things that I lack. That's not what I see. Oh, gold mine depleted. And a temporary embarrassment. Ooh, tax cuts. 
Oh, why did I do that? Why would I do that? I was like, oh, I want the capital taxation so badly. I want to cut taxes. Doesn't make any sense. Okay, we've got more minting. That's good. We do need intensive agriculture just because our current system is not working. Okay, we've got two years of low taxation. That's fine. We're going to debt. We've got a load of loyalists. I've actually never had more loyalists than radicals. Although those radicals seem to be increasing at a significant rate. Are they out producing? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, what's going on over here? Who are you fighting? Annex Ute. Oh, why couldn't I have had that? So what's happened, by the way, is that the Ute have uh, risen up against the US. But that means that they're going to get into war, so the US is going to kill them. Okay, we actually have some iron surplus now. Yeah, this just isn't going to work, is it? Ah, uh, I literally I took, I cut taxes for this. I put myself into debt for this. All for nothing. I'm not gonna lie, lads, this is not a good start. <laughs> this has gone very, very poorly indeed. Right, we're gonna go straight for the tooling industry. That's all I got. We're going all in, boys. We still have no wood. It's because we're using it to construct things. Oh, this is the culture map one. Uh, you got loads of different cultures over here. You got Dixie, Yankee, uh, Siouan. Anglo, was that Anglo-Caribbean? No, Anglo-Canadian. I was about to say, it seem, seems like immigration's taking off uh, quite nicely. Uh, let's just keep antagonizing the US, because that sounds like a great plan. And my camera is completely out of focus, which is rather cinematic, because I've lost focus in this game. Because I have no idea what the plan is now. Okay, using more dyes, that's a good thing, because we have dyes. Use more tools and we'll import some more tools. Okay, we're gonna need to import some wood and some fabric and also grain because our people are starving. Okay, we're actually producing a surplus of tools now. That's actually working. Oh my god. All right, we're gonna need to import some more wood. And maybe I switch over my tooling industry. But uh, yes, I need more industrialists. I love industrialists. Uh, so we've already got pig iron tools. Okay. We have a surplus of iron. So what do we need? Probably more wood, right? We need so much rain. And then we export tools. Oh my god, I've actually saved our economy. I am an economic genius. My paper will be out soon. It'll be titled uh, Lathonomics. It's kind of a ripoff of Florinomics, isn't it? That's ah, fine, he won't sue me. Ah, remember we had, we had uh, more loyalists than radicals? That did not last long. Use steel tools, but we don't have any steel. I'd love to start making steel. Steel, that's the, that's the plan. We get steel ahead of everyone else, then we sell steel. God, I'm a genius. Why are you not making money? I need to, I need to export iron. To spike the price of iron. Where are iron mines? In, in Jalisco, right? I should probably figure out how to pronounce that. Yeah, iron's just dirt cheap in this country. Tools are as well, so it's just generally every, there's not much point being here. Okay. Let's, let's see if we can get some more tools going. Okay, that is a horrible... Dis that makes me uncomfortable, that border. Like, actually makes me uncomfortable. Legitimately. I do not like that. Uh, I've got a mild uh, trebophobia, by the way, uh, which is like the fear of like small holes. Not fear, but I, I basically want comfortable with when like lots of small things are clustered together. Um, like a, I don't know, like a, not like a sponge, like a wart. Or like hair transplants. Oh, God, I hate that. Um, but yeah, lots of small jaggedy things also does it for me. So that border is really not, I don't like it. See, we're not the same. You pursue clean borders because you because of the aesthetic. I pursue clean borders for my mental health. <laughs> what an industrial boom! Let's go. Okay, where produces the most amount of wood? Let's have a look. Wood. Show production on map. It's like here. It's hmm, unfortunate. Uh, some here and some here because I need to put out a decree that'll increase it. Uh, one here and one here. Gold field completed. That's unfortunate. I think I'm gonna put a consumption tax on liquor just to try and boost our industry because I'm pretty sure we're like stagnant uh, tobacco or liquor well we we make tobacco so that's a pretty good idea let's do that um, what do you produce over there what can I knit from you you got dyes maize farms dude you got such a good economy down here what about you what do you have you just don't have the people but you have a tobacco plantation a, a livestock ranch a dye plantation have you heard of Mexican imperialism because you're about to Right, so we want to shift the steel as soon as possible. Steel requiring coal and iron, but we don't. We do have. We've got some coal mines. Build a bunch of coal mines here, like ten. We have a surplus of iron. 
This is gonna go well. Watch. You're gonna be typing a comment right now, being like, Lake, you're the best Victoria 3 player. I really love your shirt. Your green screen isn't scuffed because Will slipped and fell into it whilst he was shocking you with a dog collar. If you haven't watched that video, go and watch it now. Went through genuine pain. Also, I want to point out that I would never use that on my dog. <laughs> For those of you who haven't watched that video, because you only watch Victoria 3 and you don't watch any EU4, I played EU4 with a shock collar attached to my arm uh, and then got shocked by my friend. Well, ostensibly when I did something wrong, but it was just when he felt like it. It was meant to make me a better player. But I want to point out, you don't use this on a dog. <laughs> You're a bad human if you do that. Where's Arizona in turn one? Oh, I haven't incorporated you. Oh, my bad. God, there's so many little states here I need to incorporate. God, this looks like administrative hell. Look at this. There's the panhandle, which is just on its own, but that's split to two because I have this province as well. And there's Texas that's split between these two. I'm tempted to do a Victoria 3 playthrough where I play as like a Lord of War. So I only focus on my... I build my industry around war. I export arms, I import arms. That's all I ever do. But then... Also just running around getting my income like as a warlord. Um, I did a mild version of that with my Sokoto campaign, but I was thinking maybe as Persia, I could I could do that. It could be a lot of fun. Or Afghanistan. I just run around just like taking tributes from other people. And that's my economy. And now like six YouTubers are going to steal that idea. <laughs> they say imitation is the uh, sincerest form of flattery. Flattery doesn't get me paid. <laughs> oh, I've got an active trade route because Nicaragua died. Okay, we've got a load of wood. We're getting some coal. We don't have any steel. Uh, so I need to stop importing. I just want to get one steel mill up and running. Because the coal mines aren't profitable because no one's buying coal. Okay, we have gone up two places of GDP. That's decent. So uh, just to explain something in Victoria 3. For example here. If I switch over to slaughterhouses, I use more tools and I make more meat. So I'd make uh, quadruple the amount of meat. And but the, the game thinks that, okay, that is going to lose you a K. A thousand pounds, but what it's also going to do is spike the price of tools, which is good for me because I can then focus on making more tools and makes them more profitable. Um, and as an end result, what we're doing is we're making things more expensive, yes, but we're also creating more of things. So more tools means more meat, which means more food for my people, which means that, yeah, tools are more expensive, but at the same time, the economy is growing and getting bigger because uh, we're more efficient with things. So you want to use more to create more, and that's how economies get bigger. All right, so just there, I made my coal mines more profitable by making my iron mines consume more coal. Uh, so now coal is uh, quite the expensive commodity because it's using all of our iron mines. So as you can see here, coal has increased in that. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so I'm building a bunch of coal mines here, but the industry cannot support it. Like the infrastructure, sorry. Can't support it. What's your infrastructure like? I've only used nine. Okay, well, great. Let's do that. By you, uh, I need to issue a decree. Road maintenance over here, which will help with that. Now, as you can see, our economy is kind of going a bit hard to the point where I think I need to build some more construction centers. So we're getting there, boys. We're getting there. Speaking of, let's find anything to do with steel. That's nice. There we go. Because that's the end goal. If we get steel tools, we do the whole thing about bigger economy, but more. So we just jumped up three places with all my uh, shenanigans and, and I was going to say buffoonery, but it objectively worked. So I can't really call it that. So we need some more iron mines. We need to have enough population to actually put people into the mines, obviously, but also the infrastructure to support an actual economy there. Right. Should we try this again? Now, the last time I tried this, it tanked my economy. I'm not surprised that the US doesn't come after me considering they now have 64 battalions. And 325 conscript battalions. Did they changed the military law. Yeah, they got a national militia now. For context, we have a professional army, which means that we can build more uh, barracks up to a max level of 100 in each state. So we can have 100 technically battalions per state. Uh, but we can't really do any, use any like conscripts. Like here, for example, I could mobilize 40, but I could have a barracks max level of 20. So. That means that our standing army and our conscript army are basically the same size. Put it this way, if the US decides they want to kill us right now, there is nothing that I can do. And it's just real, it just occurred to me that I should be using my diplomatic power to uh, maybe do something about that. Can I get the USA to ban slavery? Because the US, the uh, UK might get involved with that. I need to be importing coal. I actually need to be importing clippers, it looks like. Which is ironic, because then I'm importing ships with ships. But that should also mean that I have more ships. <laughs> Quarter of our... National revenue comes from minting. Never had a game where I haven't just 
had horrendous amounts of radicals. Also, more recently, the French have been, like, dominating every game that I've played. Because, obviously, uh, like, it's since release. So, before release, the British would be all over it. But now, since, since then, the French have just... Have, uh, yeah, look at their GDP. It's disgusting how quickly it rises. They've completely overtaken the British. They're number two worldwide, and they look like they're going to overtake the Qing. Look how much money we make! Okay, so, the steel mill doesn't make any money because... There's nothing for the steel mill to feed into. We don't have any requirements for steel. That's okay. I'm going to build like five of them. And then we're going to switch our tooling industry to take steel instead of iron. But I need to have people employed. So our economy is going to tank initially. And then hopefully it'll fix itself. If it doesn't, then I've just tanked the economy. This is it. Because once we have more tools, we can, like I said, use the tools to better ourselves in other ways. You can see that the iron mines, coal mines, construction sector, gold mines, livestock ranches, trade routes, and also furniture manufacturers all take tools. So that should spike the price of steel. Because we are going to have a shortage of steel whilst these steel mines get, uh, steel mills get up and running. But I think that might have just done fantastic things for our economy. I'm so, like, when you get things right in this game, when you get things wrong and you feel lost, you're confused, you're scared, you're lonely, you just want to call your mother. But when you get things right, you just feel like the biggest brain guy. It's amazing. Come on. Work. Oh, everyone's getting laid off. Oh, God, it's failing. It's failing. It's succeeding. It's succeeding. It's failing. It's failing. Okay, do we have, we have enough, um, yeah, we have enough steel. So we need to... Think about what we can do with steel. Now, I'm going all in on this Bessemer process thing, which means we need to start upgrading our tooling industries. And we're going to create a motor industry. I'm really like rushing industrialization here, boys, because I want to make a motor industry before we have anything else set up in this world. We're going to get a motor industry set up to set up our steel, min steel mills to make our steel mills more profitable so that they're producing enough steel. But our tooling industry should be incredible from now on, um, which should help us construct things better and faster. If we can get steel frame buildings as well, that should help things. Uh, another one of these. I just want per capita taxation. Look, so we're going to take a hit in the meantime and hope the US doesn't come after me. But if I play my cards right, I'll have electricity before everyone, including the French. And that should just turbocharge our economy. If I, It is a gamble though, because if, if I mess this up, then my economy collapses. That's just the way of things. Okay, steel is dirt cheap, motor is dirt cheap, which means I can now go over to, for example, a place like this with low infrastructure, and I could say, hey, everyone, why don't you get a railway? But for that, I need to actually research what the hell railways are. Oh, no. Yeah, dude, I desperately need railways. What's this? Independence. You're fighting... So the US is fighting the Brits over here. Oh, hey, Britain. How you, how you doing? It looks like they're going to fight it. Now nah, they're fearful. Go on, don't back down. Don't back. You back down. Why? Let the US fight. Okay. Let's get a couple more construction sectors up and running. So we've got a lot of reserves here. GDP is starting to stagnate a little bit. We need to research railways. I really rushed this. I've just created a rushed build for railways. Because look at that low market access. If I can get that up, I'll just build railways everywhere. And everyone can go on the train. And everyone's going to be happy. And it's all going to be because of me. And no one's going to be poor. We're losing a lot of money. I'm going to go bankrupt. And I hate this game. We have a million radicals. I'm doing this for you. And also, can we, like, succeed somewhere? Like, please. We're trying to do this for so long. It's now on 4.2% per capita taxation. It started out at 30. I've had so many ticks. I'm going to run the numbers on that because that is that feels very absurd. Right, we're going to export steel to the French and tools to the Austrians. And that should help stabilize our uh, prices over here. Uh, let's go to the market. What did I want to do? I want to see if I can get, if I can improve my um, logging camps at all. I get sawmills. That would be great. More tool consumption. That's exactly what we need. Okay, we've discovered railways. Excellent. So now I want to go to an area that has low coastal access, like like here. But that's kind of useless because you know, do you have, like do you provide anything? It was gold. Let's go to Jalisco because it's, it's very profitable state. It's growing. You know the people are vibing. Let's build a railway here. Okay, so that's not working then, is it? Can I go straight to proportional taxation? Yeah. All right, let's give that a go. <laughs> We're just gonna skip straight from, straight over per capita taxation then. All right, what can I do here? I need construction throughput. Gold rush! Spread the word! Okay, so this 
railway should be up and running soon, which means that our engines, which I think are over here, should start to make a little bit of moolah. Because the price of steel is going up, so I need to make sure I lower the price of steel. Okay, nice. The railway's working. And that gives me infrastructure here of another 20. So I can start really funneling stuff over here. Excellent. That has actually gone remarkably well. So now we need more steel, more coal, more iron. We're in the same exact <laughs> place that we were, but our economy is bigger now. Okay, using more tools, but producing more iron? Absolutely. So how's our tooling industry? Yeah, still pretty good. Okay. Use more tools. That's, that's what we want to do. Always use more tools. We have a really solid tooling industry. Oh my god, the economy! Oh, line go up, boys! Number 13 in the world! Watch this. 13.8%. It's going to be first time. No redos. No recounts necessary. 13.9% for proportional taxation on your screen. Succeeding. Oh, the road was actually making money. I don't even need to subsidize it. Damn it. Temporary embarrassment. Oh. <laughs> okay, steel and coal. <gasps> My capital. You know what it needs? A railway. Let's bump that up. And then I need... Uh, well, I need I need a lot of things. I need a lot of grain. People uh, think are starving in the streets. Let's just build some grain in California. Mortality? Sure. We've got a decent population in any case. I can uh, get away with a couple of people dying. Hmm. Okay, so you wouldn't accept a an alliance then. Oh, Canada, you independent? You look independent, bro your puppet now puppets the ones that they can't have diplomatic like relations yeah you're a subject what about austria they're more likely the brits to come support me to be fair all right how's my little railway doing over here choo choo bastards get on the train let's go how's the infrastructure doing yes oh my god it's actually working okay the line is no longer going up it's going straight mainly because i'm producing grain yeah, we can import grain. We can buy. What am I doing? We can buy grain. Okay, we need iron. God, we need iron. We're also fueling the French economy. Okay, we, we need coal and iron. All right, let's focus on coal and iron then. You have a lot of infrastructure now. Yeah, right. And this is my main coaling mine. Yeah, let's just ch chuck you up to 10. Uh, and then when's, where's my main iron? I think it's Jalisco, right? Uh, yeah, let's chuck you up to 10 as well. You're probably going to need a railway. Proportional taxation, 4.9% chance. Basically guaranteed. It's another W for Lathe. Right here. I will take 10% chance. I will take it at this point. Ooh. 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 This is not what you want to see. United States, America, and Mexico, high tensions. Ooh. Oh, I hate that board. It really, like, is messing with my head. I'm trying not to look at it. Industrialist. Right, how's our government doing? We have 55 legitimacy. Um, if I kick out the landowners. That would increase my legitimacy. And I kick out the armed forces? No, I keep the armed. That would increase my legitimacy. And the industrialists would be in power. Let's do that. The Catholic Church doesn't like me. That's fine. Don't like the Catholic Church. Um, I, I say things that are like in the in the context of the game. But I know that people are going to be like... There's going to be at least one person statistic that's like, Wow. Wow. They take the Catholics. Wow. Can't believe that. Okay, this tooling industry has collapsed. Laborers. I don't need as many laborers if I do this. Tools are now dirt cheap. So we need to switch this up to use more tools. More consumption of tools. But then we need hardwood. Okay, we're going to try it. Hardwood production. I keep thinking of the same stupid event. Uh, let's go to the logging camps and let's chuck rail transportation on you. Okay, you need more transportation. That just means that my rail industry needs to increase. But you need a railway as well, huh? It's fine. This, this, could, have been a, this could be a horrible mistake, but I'm gambling. That everyone gets a railway. I think I've made a massive error. Okay. That's fine. I, I just need to increase my railway industry. That's fine. That's fine. Every, look, it's fine. Don't no one panic. No who's panicking? I'm not. I'm not panicking that I crashed the Mexican economy. I'm not. This is a, a genius play. I need more railways, I think, everywhere. Okay, 3.5% chance. You heard it here first. It's gonna be a miracle. Yada yada yada. Here today, gone tomorrow. 3.5%. Temporary maximum. I haven't been able to enact a single law. I keep on flip-flopping between per capita taxation and the other one because I just can't get it. I haven't been able to get anything. What? The economy's going up? Surprising considering I think I screwed it up. With a number four producer of tools worldwide. So my gamble did kind of pay off to steal tools. Okay, we need more like... 
quartz and stuff because we need to produce some clippers. Get some convoys going. Okay, I don't know what happened, but our economy just tanked. We need electricity. That's the next play. I'm really trying to leapfrog our economy, and it's only mildly working. We're number 12 worldwide. We'll take it. It's mildly working. Okay, how is the, how are the logging camps and railways doing? That's what matters to me the most. That's good. Price of engines are going up. That should be good for the engine industry. Yes, it is. It is indeed. <gasps> I've got a positive one, finally. Okay, electrical generation. I'm really... I haven't even built any, like, furniture or anything else. Give me more convoys so we can get more stuff. So who has, does anyone have low market access? You, but I don't really care about you. Wasn't there another one that had low market access? Actually, not that far, far off of the Europeans, you know? Mainly because half of our... <laughs> Stuff comes from minting. All right, let's try and improve this stuff. In terms of grazing, which produces more fertilizer, should help a lot. Rail transportation in the gold fields would be a good play. Okay, maybe I should start getting clothes for my people because they don't have those. <laughs> or I could build more gold mines. It was a simple choice. All right. Then we're gonna get basic industry for our, or the clothing for our people. That makes sense to me. Build up our own little domestic markets for those things. All right, let's get some more construction sectors going. Because that's the biggest thing that you can do to help your GDP. Yeah, we need more convoys. I don't know what happened. But somebody losing 8k a month. Whatever the tick thing is. This could all be sold with uh, with our taxation. But apparently not. It'll give us another 24k. This one will give us another 38k. So we're about to break to the top 10 economies worldwide though. So that's nice. We're literally just printing money, so... And yeah, once these gold mines are completed, then we can get uh, our people some basic goods. We should... Uh, they should be happy about that. They want tobacco. I'm happy to import tobacco because that'll increase the consumption taxes that I got going on. There's low market access everywhere. You know what you need? Railways. That's right. I'm building railways everywhere that I need them. This could be a huge mistake, but I think it's very funny. So, there is nothing in this area but gold and railways. Who else has low market access? Sonora, Nevada. Bang, have a rail railway. Sonora. I don't know what a Sonora is. Nguero, Nevada, Arizona. Sonora, Arizona, Nevada. That's those three. Zacatex. Okay, you're actually an important area. So let's grab your railway as well. Per capita taxation. Watch this. 76%. You've never seen it before. The gambler's failed. <gasps> Finally, I've passed the law. Jesus Christ, that took so long. I like this oligarchy stuff. I'm tempted to go for universal suffrage. Oh, everyone hates that. Okay, my bad. I won't do that then. Just, I just wanted to give you more like rights, but I guess not. Uh, total separation. Most people like that. So let's do that. Radicalizes the Catholic Church. I do not care. But the guys in, in government really like me. Wow, I should not put the 50 bourgeoisie in. They give me bonuses like investment pool contributions, migration attraction. What's my population like that I've got this much migration attraction? Uh, how much? Oh no, economy collapsing. What am I missing? Fabrics. Okay, you're missing fabrics. What are you missing? Loads of fabrics. I need fabrics. Oh my god, I need fabrics. Please, don't do this to me. Fabric. Guatemalan market. I need something with the least amount of convoys. Okay, you got fabrics, you got fabrics. I think I just stabilized our economy. Good. That could have been bad. That could have been really, really bad. We need wood as well. Mexican Oklahoma. Kind of cursed. You got sewing machines. Um, yeah, sure. Why not? That sounds like fun. Uh, and you need more wood. Screw it. We're just clicking those things. That means we need a lot more wood. I think that means we need a lot, a lot more wood. Can I do anything about that? Electric sawmills. Now we're talking. That's what I need next. Give me a power plant in Mexico. That's what I want immediately. Oh, I need electricity. Don't, don't pause it. Total separation. Lovely. Let's grab ourselves this. Okay. No trade routes, convoys. Uh, low market access. We'll fix that. Okay. Artillery, small arms, and ammunition. Get some French. Ammunition, import route. Get that from the French. Artillery, import route. Get it from the French. Oh, okay. Massive bureaucracy deficit. Any trade routes we can get rid of. We need grain. Who needs grain, you know? I think we still need wood. Uh, we're exporting tools. We don't really need to do that. Okay, and we, are, we can massively kick up our economy now. All right, more construction capacity. 
I do want a bigger army because the US has 83 battalions and we have like 30 with full mobilization. Uh, I also need, if I'm going to support more trade routes, I need more governing, uh, government administration. Ooh, taxation capacity. Is that useful for me, right? I don't think it is. We need convoys. Loads of convoys. So you have no infrastructure. Let's get you... Port. The ports increase the infrastructure? Yeah, they do. Brilliant. Get a port. We do have this electricity power plant. So, here's the play. We've got my logging camps here. I switch over to electric sawmills. So the logging camps now use electricity, which produces way more. It's, the, it's literally the... It is the best logging camp in the world. That I can't believe that's worked as well as it has. Okay, we need more engines. Where's my engine one? You here. Yeah, go. We're going to need a lot more engines. All right, let's go with motor industries now because we're definitely going to need them. Uh, considering my insistence on upgrading every single province to have a railway in it. All right, you now got a railway, right? You do. You just don't have any engines. Oh, God. Is there like a, a better engine manufacturing process? You have fewer people. People aren't the issue. More engines if I go get electric engines. I don't have electricity properly yet. Because I don't have any engines. You see, you see the issue. You gonna have enough steel for all this all these engines? Steel's expensive. Oh god, we need steel. There's a gold rush. That should drop the price of engines pretty dramatically, because I built like five of them. Yeah, steel is now is now bad. Okay. Uh I'm really like rushing from thing to thing here. This is bad. Uh Yucatan, you start getting steel, you start getting steel. Uh California can get steel. Anyway, there's a lot of peasants. Chalisco? You get, you, get, you get steel. Okay, let's start doing the steel stuff, boys. Before I start ruining anything else. Oh, steel donkey. That's steam donkey. That's what we want because that will uh, increase our gold mine production. And gold is still a decent amount. Oh, income tax is the main thing, but gold does give us other stuff. Okay, I kind of want to go interventionism instead of agrarianism. Though laissez faire could be better. We'll go into mentionism. Okay, so the moment I feared is here. The United States is going to attack me. <laughs> oh, no. Give me war operations. Uh, give me American Texas back. Mobilize all the generals. Okay, our conscripts. Why do they have to be two fronts? Why do they have to be two fronts? Okay, it's going to tank our economy. Uh, I'm going to get rid of road maintenance. And get rid of all this resource industry that was helping keep our economy afloat. And instead... We are going to go for enlistment efforts. As you can see, that had a horrendous effect on our economy. Okay, here it is. Here's the war. We're going to take out the Indian territory. And we're actually destroying the, the Americans over here. Okay. Uh, defend the front, bro. Ooh! Plus 10% in offense offensive defense. All right, we're taking out the Indian territory again. Yeah, okay, nice. We did that. There's just a front in the middle of the, of the nation. Damn, how many, why do we have so many troops? 81 conscripts. 81 conscripts. We did not have that many at the start. Discord in the Catholic Church. That's fine. Right, our economy is going to take a hit from this, but that's okay. Yeah, our issue is we've got these shortages. Okay, we can't be quiet like this again. <gasps> the minting saved us. 30 battalions in reserve? What do you mean? Just summon another like significant army. I can't tell what's going on because we're like pushing over in the in, in in the east, but then we're not defending our own territory. There's like this front up here that I think is meant to be us. I, I don't I don't quite understand how this is working. God, the US are bringing in some troops now. A peace deal. They get California and we get Texas and American war operations. No! We're blitzing them now. I've got cash reserves for days. I'm okay with this. My, my, my economy is kind of stagnant, but whatever. I've set up my imports really nicely, so I should be okay. The Mexican people would demand blood. Wait, he'll just give me what I want? Why? We're both a... All right. Yeah, I'll take it. Yep. Thank you. Oh, the borders are even worse now. Okay. So now we have a lot of, of money. <laughs> Because we're getting it from the US. I mean, we were struggling there for a little bit because of the arms industry. So I'm tempted to make my own arms industry. Okay, we've got tools. How's electricity? 
We got ourselves some electricity. I'm tempted, and this is gonna This is gonna be bad initially, but I think we have the cash reserve to pull it off. Where's the logging camps? I'm gonna make electric sawmills everywhere. And start building up our electricity more. So I'm gonna build another electricity thing here, and then I'm really gonna create some more motor industries. Damn, we need more tools. Anything I can do about that? I mean, I can just build more tools, I suppose. Okay, we have loads of money, so let's use it whilst we have it. Yeah, we're lacking electricity. So we need to build more electricity. Power plants, whatever you want to call them. Dude, iron is so expensive. Okay, let's import some iron. This might be the most, like, construction-based nation I've ever had. Like, we're, we've got so much construction capacity. This is probably a good idea. Versus tariffs. We don't really make any money off tariffs, do we? About 7k. We're still making money. It's what we have 108 construction capacity. Again, most of that is... Well, 25k. It's only 25k from diplomatic packs. A lot of it comes from income taxes. Pretty sure the Catholics don't exist anymore. <laughs> Let's get public school going. For that, we're going to need some more government administration. And we use the whole number of infrastructure. We have, so we're going to need some more railways. Get the railway going first. Okay, and how's the sawmills doing? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Electricity down. How's my engine doing? It's all fine. We just don't have the people for it. So let's... We need more employees if I did that. Okay, we need tools. So let's get a tooling industry going. Pretty sure we've incorporated most of this land up here. There we have. Nice. Yeah, the only place with low market access is Mexico. And I'm going to build a railway to help with that. I think the engines are doing okay. We just don't have enough people for it. We need to spread out our engines a little bit. So we just don't have the employees? No, we don't. Okay. This furniture thing just collapsed. It's because we don't have the tools, really. But we'll keep it alive for now. Our literacy has stayed the exact same. It's, it's kind of bad. We broke into the top 10 of, uh, of economies. That's nice. Yeah, we have lo no tools, no iron, no coal. Okay, tools, iron, and coal. And our economy is based off of tools, pretty much. So, tools, iron, coal, wood. Okay, we're making so much money, I actually can expand our construction sector even more. Get see people moving into our states. Nice. Construction capacity of over 100. What the hell is this economy? All right, and we've got some education access. Meanwhile, the US GDP is completely stagnant. We're actually not that far off of them. Despite that fact they have a population of double R's. Nice. Trade room with Guatemala. Sure, why not? That's just... Oh my god, we just need to be constructing more things. Okay, so we have almost enough wood now. Iron and tools are good. Steel, we are, have a huge deficit of steel and coal. Okay. Coal mines. And then steel mills. How's my engines doing? Yeah, they just don't have enough people. Build some motor industries in here then. Oh god, I need to build more construction centers. We might have to go in against the Americans to try and like make sure we in like secure this income forever. I may warlord it with the Americans. Well something tells me they're not gonna come knocking again. Yeah, we just summoned like 80 like it said earlier. Yeah, look. Get a at 26, and then I did the enlistment campaigns and then everyone flocked to the banners. Right, we are going to create an arms industry. And a munition plant. And I'll subsidize both of those. Meanwhile, what's happening in the rest of the world? Uh, England's actually taking out France. Which is insane, because they have a GDP of 250 million. I want, let's check out the GDP stats. So, GDP-wise, we're on some part. We've take, overtaken uh, Scandinavia and Spain and the Ottomans very handily. Um, we're trailing to Italy and the United States. Yeah, standard living wise, we're not doing too well. But the great powers list looks something like this. France, number one. Britain, number two. Then Russia, Austria, Germany, Spain, Italy, yada, yada, yada. Oh, the, the heavenly kingdom's a thing. I've actually seen them. Haven't seen that happen. Okay. <laughs> they've, got seven, they've got one battalion and then 145 summonable. Oh my god. The game feels a lot more dynamic um, than it did in pre-release, which I like. Okay, he was just taken out. Huda Venga. The trade unions are growing in power. Nice. Alright, people are actually starting to get educated now. So we can't actually expand into South, into uh, Central America, because it means I'd fight the Americans. Um, and I don't really feel like doing that, to be honest. And that's a bad idea with our current economic setup. Once we've got our arms industry up and running, yeah, pff, absolutely. Okay, what are we lacking in? your issue. More tools, I think. God, we're always running out of tools and steel. We need so much steel. Yeah, steel is just expensive. Is there something I'm doing wrong with steel? Feels like there is. Okay, this means fewer employees. That's better for me. 
Okay, what if I just focus on... Oh my god, we've got such deficit of iron, steel, and coal. Okay, we can import some coal from Austria. Um, for now. Guerrero has low market access. He doesn't even have a railway. Okay. California, Baijo, and Guerrero. Uh, you have a railway, and then California. Don't know why you don't have a railway already. Get your railway. Okay. Then we need steel. So much steel. Just endless amounts of steel. Just get me all the steel, please. If you have any sort of population, you need to, build, you need to be getting steel. I'm gonna import steel from the Americans to build guns to shoot the Americans. This makes sense. Dude, we import so much grain. So did, did you win over here? No, it looks like you're still fine. There's so many conflicts in the world. What, so what is this war? I, I didn't even check. Oh, it's Russia versus Great Britain. Corsica Treaty Port versus Conquering Sulu and East Anglia Treaty Port. You want a treaty port in East Anglia? Russia. Really? Really? Two million dead to the British 200,000. Jesus. That was an explosion of violence right there. That looks like government pacts has concluded with the US. We don't need all these steel mills anymore. Sort of sorted that out. Coal. We need coal now. Just, I'm, I'm just always constantly chasing my own industry here. Subsidizing our arms industry and our munition plants. Got ourselves electric streetlights. That sounds good. Public trams. Pretty sure I've just tanked my own economy there. <laughs> Again. Fabric. And you are just... Just suck. Okay. Oh, of course, Katrina's pulled. Actually, have a yeah, huge issue of uh, electricity. Woo! 20% arms industry throughput. Hell yeah. Okay, so there's been a bit of a time skip. And uh, that's because I recorded this in two parts. Or so I thought. I also just sort of didn't click record uh for the second part but let me uh let me show you around uh mexico i didn't expand at all i've just been sitting here trying to generally improve uh, our people's lives and we currently have a middling uh standard of living everyone's doing well uh literacy is going up it's still not decent but you know we're number six gdp worldwide but more importantly number one gdp per capita uh we uh we have an insane gdp that rivals the entirety of north germany and also india uh despite having a much much smaller population in fact, I, I mean, our GDP per capita is just insane. It's better than the French, who have the largest GDP. It's better than the, the, the Germans, the various little German states over there. And they have the advantage of being in uh, close proximity to one another, whereas we have to do a lot of, uh, of, of importing. Generally, I've just been doing everything to improve my citizens' lives. That's actually what I've been doing. Our issue now is that we're running out of people to employ. So our population is growing at uh, about 1%, which I'm pretty sure is decent. Um, but yeah, like I said, we're, we don't, we just don't have the people. We'll sell steel to the Americans, why not? We'll import their explosives in return. There's uh, one more tiny little thing I want to do. Minting is almost, a, <laughs> almost 50%. I've built gold mines to the max everywhere. Uh, Mexico, by the way, is a highly industrial uh, center with a bunch of different railways. Fortunately, we're really struggling with opium. Uh, we desperately need it, but there's just no one produces it. Oh, we've become a, a, a great power. <laughs> nice. I've really not been influencing anything on the world stage. But now uh, I think it's time, as we run out of population to do anything with, uh, that we do what we were always meant to do, which is... To conquer states in the United States of America. I'm tempted to ban slavery. Yeah, we're going to ban slavery in the US. We're going to be the good guys. Oh, he's adding some some war goals. We can sway the Brits to our side. Interesting. Let's promote all these guys because they are absolutely going to uh, need it. Bear in mind the US are ranked. So we, we are just about a great power, rank number 10. Uh, our GDP is much higher than the United States. So theirs is 73 million and ours is 103 million. Uh, some are six worldwide. They have a higher um, literary rate than we do, but their standard of living is impoverished, whereas ours is, well, it's, it's pretty decent. Our lowest strata, our worst possible people who are expecting to be struggling are middling. And our rich guys are rich. Mobilize all our generals, and we're just going to activate all of our conscripts because we can bloody afford it. Get you to advance the main front. And if you wouldn't mind taking out these middling ones, that would be wonderful. 
and you do that one. Unfortunately, our economy is quite closely tied to the American one because uh, we had a lot of imports and exports, so that might change things slightly. Now they're uncertain that we've fully mobilized. We're going to liberate Deseret, conquer Louisiana, open the American market. We're taking a DC treaty port. And we'll also take the Indian territories. Here we go. They're actually mobilizing quite a bit. Doesn't look like they're backing down either. Not at war. Alright, let's just quickly blitz into here and here. Good job, boys. Excellent. That means you join the main front, correct? Okay, we need to import some opium. We're gonna get we're getting raided. That's gonna really screw up our economy. Fortunately, I got gold reserves for days, so we're okay. That lack of opium though kinda sucks. Gonna import it from the Russians. Why is that a naval battle in Oklahoma? What? I'm trying to navally invade Oklahoma? Nah, the Americans do have a lot more troops. But we have a hell of a lot of offense. Bear in mind our troops are professional troops as well. Oh, but doesn't mean they're not a few of them. But look at the damage we're doing. Jesus Christ. I'm actually, I am going to, it's it's dangerous to do this during war, but I'm going to switch over to Kremlin industry because I think this is going to last uh, more than a year. And... I need to be able to kill as many as Americans as possible. That's going to put me on a watch list. Um, just because uh, we... That's, we're not going to... We, we can beat them in a, in a war of attrition. Okay, apparently restricting child labor. Not on the, on the priority. That's the key part. We've got to kill more Americans than we lose uh, Mexicans. Which I feel like we're doing. And it's costing them more. Well, actually, we're, lo we're losing more troops. But that we're wounding more of them? Oh, yeah, we don't have field hospitals. That's a key part to note. They have field hospitals. We don't. Because we don't have any opium. Um, so I decided not to get it. <laughs> but our GDP has dropped like 6 million. Because we're not actively uh, increasing it. So it is. Uh, and we are like outnumbered sort of 3 to 1. But the Mexican army is so good. Yeah, we're going to lose a lot more in terms of attrition. We are pushing slowly into American territory. Plus, if we keep hitting the same uh, general, they're always going to have the same morale. Look that wonderful moustache. Okay, you, I want you to stand by. Maybe defend the front, I don't know. Because this, we want this 86 guy always in, because he's going to have a, a larger amount of troops. Oh my god, he's, he's 5 to 7. It is hurting though, I'm not, I'm not going to say it's not hurting, because our GDP is, is sort of falling. We've lost 10%, our, our GDP shrunk by 10%. Can't imagine theirs is fed too well. Yeah, theirs is collapsing as well, because our, we were each other's main import and export, so I bought a lot of American explosives. Um, okay. I bought a lot of American explosives. Oh, I didn't swell out the borders. That was my main what a, my main issue. I wanted to swell out the borders. Oh, well. It's now four to one, and we're still beating them. Wow. Mildly. Which we, we're definitely going to be losing more troops. With the cost of war, we are murdering them. Yeah, we only have like 80,000 dead, but he's got 220,000 wounded. Uh, we, plus, this, with, this has been with a malice the entire time to our conscripts because uh, we changed out their equipment. But we have a decent domestic arms production thing. I did, I, like, this is easily the best nation I've ever created in Victoria 3. I, haven't, I didn't do it through conquering other lands or like or anything gimmicky. I genuinely just like spent a, a many hours, to be fair, uh, setting up a really solid economy. Yeah, this isn't good. Our front is split into two. Uh, unfortunately, the Americans can cover that entire front. Uh, we cannot. You know what, screw this. Time to mass mobilize, boys. I don't care if we have the numbers for it. We're doing it anyway. We're ruining our economy for this. Yes. We do have a lot of gold reserves. <laughs> See, we're both on zero war support. Um, so now it's a case of who can stay here longer. I'm very much willing to stay here. This is not the smart decision in terms of uh, game sense, but I'm doing it anyway. It's a bit ironic. <laughs> oh, that's amusing. We, we, as the Mexicans, we want to enact closed borders after we invaded the US. <laughs> Do you think in a couple of hundred years, people are going to be upset that people around here, like in uh, in in Louisiana and such, speak English in uh, in Mexico when Mexico when uh, Spanish is, is the is meant to be the official language? Oh my god, revolutionary... Oh, it's the Confederates. Oh my god. Also, uh, we're running out of food as a populace. 
Well, how does this work then? Where's their capital? How do I beat the Americans? Wait, but I'm banning slavery in America. Surely the Confederates are not happy with that. Canada's involved? What? Surely we should just start waltzing in now. Considering there's, you know, two wars here. What? They're actually going to go to war. <laughs> the Americans are in a two-front war against the Mexicans and the Confederates. Yeah, American GDP is now 20 million. <laughs> but they're still in ninth rank grade power. Man, the US is just... Wait, hang on. The Confederates are in the Northeast. <laughs> this is a cursed timeline. So I can't ban slavery anymore because they don't... <laughs> they don't have slavery. <laughs> it's the Confederates that have slavery. I need to go and occupy his capital, but I don't think I can. <laughs> So I might just peace out for whatever. Okay, I don't know why my boys just abandoned the front there, lads. If you could uh, jump back over there, that'd be wonderful. Yeah, we'll, we'll increase women's rights. Definitely want to be doing that. 1.24% population growth. I can't imagine the US population growth is healthy. How are you getting on? The US isn't even in the war. You're just, you're just fighting the Canadians. Yeah, okay, so it's Canada versus the Confederate States of America. Oh, it's because they took their bloody capital. Oh my god, what are we doing to the Americans? Because I, I think this is their capital. How do I find out where their capital is? Is it that? Where's their capital? Zoom to... D ah, this is it. This is the capital, DC, right? Okay, so we need to march to DC. It's going to take a bloody while, isn't it? Again, ironclad, je ne like finest of the finest. The Pacific Coast HQ. Or at least here, this one. You want a trade agreement? Yeah, sure, why not? I know I am the biggest exporter in the world. So it makes sense that you want to enter into our markets. Come on, 17 days. And we're going to try and land in DC, end this war. Because we have, like, thoroughly... I mean, how many people have we killed? <laughs> killed 330,000. We got it. Yeah, we, we, took, we took DC. Oh, no, we're going to lose this battle. Oh, my God, he's got so many troops, sir. He's going to kick us out, isn't he? Oh, really? Just because my troops couldn't get there? That, what a KD, though. My God. Oh. 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 Okay, no, my troops are there. Excellent. Go on, boys. Blitz through them. Six versus 24. I don't know how well you're going to do that. But we do have property women, which is itself a, a, an upgrade from what it was before. It was legal guardianship. Oh my god, we have a lot of things we could do here. Um, yeah, sure, we'll do that. Andres Huarte has 41% attrition. Yeah, that's fine. You keep... Oh, we won. Yay, we did it. We liberated Deseret. We took some territory. The Indian territory is now ours. This area is completely devastated. My god. They're all struggling. But we have incorporated them. We've defeated the, the, uh, the United States of America. Meanwhile, the, <laughs> the Confederate States fight... Against Canada, but they have gotten war reparations against the Americans. I think the US is, is done. Yeah, they've got a GDP of 14 million. Whereas our GDP is decent. And I think, lads, that is where we will leave it for today. So, welcome to the New World Order, uh, where uh, Mexico is uh, Manifesto Destinio. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't speak any Spanish. What's Manifest Destiny? Let me see what search that. Manifest Destiny in, uh, in, in, in Spanish. Destino Manifesto. Okay, so I was making a joke, but it was actually that. Okay, excellent. Well, lads, uh, yeah, I think that'll, that'll, that's where we leave it for today. Uh, the Mormons are back. Well done. Congratulations. Um, yeah, I think in, in future videos, I think I'm going to do some stuff like some communist playthroughs or something like that could be a lot of fun. I do like the idea of a warlordy one. Uh, maybe playing in, uh, in, in over here in Ethiopia and just literally going embracing the pirate lifestyle. Uh, that could also be fun. I kind of want to pursue an independent India. Uh, I want to be the number one opium guy in the world with uh, Afghanistan. I have a drugs empire. Uh, there's a lot I want to do in this game. So if that's something you want to see, please do make sure to like and subscribe so I know that this is the kind of content you want to see. Please do offer your suggestions in the comments down below, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to our patrons, most notably Charlie Demorel, Krilly, Flyerton, JDow52, Cargon, Xiaomi, Lewis Wright, Nicole's Christ, QA Shard, Redguard, and Shadow Singer. Your support means a lot, guys. Whilst you're here, you might as well click on another video. I mean, it's, it's literally right there.